Hi, I'm Professor Roger Heemstra, instructor for EDG 664 Continuing Professional Education. I prefer to be called by my nickname Raj if you feel comfortable using it. I am producing this little video clip myself, so if I move around, my eyes are moving around a bit to search for some of the words that I've got attached so I can see them. And at the end, I'm going to have to reach behind and uh, shut it off. That's what happens when you produce your own little video. At any rate, I am delighted to be facilitating uh, your journey through an enhanced understanding of how to design, manage, and evaluate a myriad of continuing professional education programs. During our course, we'll examine an array of issues that face teachers and trainers of adults as they develop programs, workshops, and short-term meetings for adult learners. We'll also talk about many of the changes that are taking place within continuing professional education in terms of increasing adult student learner numbers, uh, distance education opportunities, and roles for technology in learning endeavors. Perhaps most important is the notion that education as preparation for life is giving way to education becoming a necessary lifelong endeavor. At the same time, more traditional methods of long-term courses delivered in classroom settings are giving way to short-term meetings or short-term times for getting together of a more intensive nature, often supplemented with technology, such as you will be experiencing in this course. In light of such trends, many practitioners of continuing professional education, human resource development, and training generally are looking for assistance in how to develop and operate successful educational activities. Thus, my purpose is to help you become more competent in planning, implementing, and evaluating programs, workshops, computer-assisted learning experiences, and other educational endeavors. In this course, we also utilize the learning contract approach that is becoming increasingly more popular in working with adults. With the learning contract and with my assistance, you'll be able to design an individualized learning experience through the course that is tailored to your specific needs. The first several pages of that extended course syllabus uh, available on the course's Blackboard site provide an explanation with examples of the learning contract process. We'll begin our learning experiences on August 30 by using Blackboard to introduce ourselves. Go to the first discussion board entitled Introductions, read my opening statement, and provide your own personal introduction. Feel free, and I hope you will, respond to uh, my remarks and the introductory statements of your fellow students as they become available. Finally, prior to our first face-to-face -face session on September 14th, familiarize yourself with that extended syllabus. Be sure to email me your subsequent questions and use the second Blackboard discussion um, site entitled Questions to raise queries for which you believe my answers would benefit everyone else. In addition, read the first two chapters of our textbook. I look forward to our time together.